girls, ghouls, beautiful people of the world. Hello, my name is Bridget. Today, we are going to be reviewing, I know you're ready for it, the Peppermint Frost Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This palette, I've talked about it a bunch. I wanted it really, really bad. And someone out of this world gifted this to me, and I can't, I don't know if I'm supposed to say who it is, um, so I'm not, but you know who you are, and I cannot be more grateful for for you at all, honestly. I did not expect this as a gift. Um, but I really, really wanted this highlighter palette. This came out of Jeffree Star $100 mystery box on Thanksgiving at launch. They sold out super fast. This is like a limited edition product. We don't even have a retail price of this because it was just available in that mystery box. Now, this was so hyped, they sold out super fast. And people are selling these for $200 on like Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, all those apps and stuff where you resell stuff. People are selling this for $200. The cheapest one I've seen, because I was scouring the net forever to try to buy one of these, um, just like to review and like test for myself because the hype kind of got me and I really, really wanted it, was $120. That was the cheapest one I found. But these things are going like $200. I don't know if they're selling at that point. That's what they're asking. I hope they're not selling at that point because it's highlighters. But today I wanted to test out the Peppermint Frost Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is what the inside looks like. It's just a little trio of highlighters that has been hyped to the world and back. When Jeffrey said he might bring it back, he was getting like death threats and stuff like, don't you bring this back, it was supposed to be exclusive. That's crazy. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, I'd love if you did that. I try to review all the Jeffree Star launches. I, I didn't miss this one. It's, it's here now. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this video. We're going to test out this palette. And I'm going to tell you if it's worth all the hype. Because it's a lot of hype. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, hello. No highlight. Very sad. Very sad. And I pulled my hair back so I don't get highlight on my hair because I do have stuff to do. I don't like when people like, like highlight and their hair is just like in there. It just grosses me out. I don't know. I don't want highlight on my hair. So this is the Peppermint Frost palette. I'm very excited. Um, I am dying to try this out. I've been, like I put this off for a couple days because I wanted to film this. And then I keep putting highlighter on I'm doing my makeup at my desk and I keep forgetting, oh yeah, I do need to review this and not put any other highlighter on. Because I like stacking highlights lately. I've been like using like three for a look. But let's go ahead and get started with the Peppermint Frost Palette. I've been sniffing it a lot. It smells like peppermint bark. Um, it smells really good. I would say it just smells like peppermint, but you get a little bit of that vanilla scent, so it does kind of smell like peppermint bark. It feels real good. I will say the packaging for this feels hella cheap. Um, but it is a mystery box item. It doesn't really actually have like a retail value for me to give you. But here it is. This is the up close of it unused. There we go. It focused finally. This one looks kind of interesting because I don't know if that's going to work on my skin tone or not because it is a weird mix of colors. However, there is white in there so it might. This shade right here is very yellowy gold. It is very much not, it says igloo gold, but it reminds me so much of like a cream sickle kind of color for like ice cream. And this one I'm dying, I'm dying to use, ugly sweater. Because everyone who has this already it tells me it's beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ugly sweater shade, which is this one on this side of my face. We're going to use, hmm, we'll use chocolate ice just to see if it works on my skin tone on this side of my face. And then we'll mix like on other parts of my face we'll use igloo gold. I'm going to use the same brush for all of it because that's usually what I do. So into the ugly sweater. It's very soft. I love a good skin frost though. And let's just see how it looks. It smells so good. I can smell it when I'm like putting it on. So it's very pretty. It's very metallic-y. Oh, it looks so wet on camera. In person, it doesn't look nearly as, like, wet. It's a very pretty metallic. I've been bringing my highlights in a lot farther lately just because I just love how glassy it looks. It looks so pretty. Yeah, I don't see much of, like, the pink hue to it. It does really look, like, icy. I know there's a lot of pink splotches in this shade. But honestly, it just looks nice and icy. It doesn't even look too white, honestly. So there's not too much of a base pigment to it. It comes off very, very blinding. But when you like turn your head, it doesn't really come off as anything but like a nice clear sheen to it. It doesn't come off as like a white highlight where you get like an Ofra highlight where you get like pillow talk and it's very like, there's a white undertone and there's like pink on top of it. This is very much like a clear glossiness. That is satisfying as crap. Okay, okay. I'm going to wipe my brush up on a paper towel 
And then we're going to use chocolate ice, which I'm scared of. But let's just like mix in between all the colors here. That's very dark on the brush. I might have messed up. And I got stuff, to, I got places to go. I'm filming this on Christmas, so. I don't want to leave the house today, but I feel like I'm forced to. Okay, so this one, still very metallic, very pretty. Personally, I think it matches my skin tone pretty good. Like, it still is wearable like this one. It's still very wearable. It's not too dark on my skin. However, from straight forward, I feel like the underside of the highlight, where I put the bottom of the highlight, isn't very reflective looking. I think it's because it's darker. It doesn't really stand off as, like, super highlighty. Towards the bottom of the highlight on my face, it kind of blends into my contour instead of looking, like, highlighty. So I would definitely mix this with another highlighter personally. I can mix with other the other two highlighters in here. Um, but it is very pretty on its own. If you were anything like slightly darker than my skin tone, this will actually probably look perfect on you. Just for me, the bottom of the highlight comes off as a little bit dark. It doesn't come off as like... But it does look really pretty. And with that white like milky shade mixed in there. It should have been called chocolate milk instead of chocolate ice. But it's very pretty. Hmm. It's still very cute, but you know what I'm saying? Like, the bottom of the highlight doesn't, like, come up as blinding as, say, this one where you can see the whole highlight area. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to wipe this highlight off again on the brush. This one does come off a little bit darker. You can see, like, I don't know if you can on camera, a little bit of a tinge from the browner highlights. And I'm going to take Igloo Gold. This one comes off very pretty, too. It comes off a little, it's a little bit harder. Um, it's not as, like, soft looking when you tip into it, but it does come off pretty gold on the brush. And now let's put a little bit, work it over our eyebrow. I'm going to dip in some more because I don't really see it. I guess I can see it a little bit, but not really. Oh, that side's a lot easier to see. I don't know if you can tell. Like up here. Now, personally, I don't leave tons of highlight like this on my forehead. I'll take my damn beauty sponge after I'm done with my makeup and, like, tap it down. Just to make it look like it melted in my face and, like, I naturally have a glow. I'm also going to tap a little bit more and do the center of my nose and the end of my nose. This one's cute. This one's a lot more subtle than the other two. I don't know if you can tell. But I put it down the center of my nose. There we go. And I put it on the forehead. This one doesn't really show up on that side. In the center of my nose, and it looks pretty cute. It's very subtle compared to the first one, which is like glass. However, it's really pretty. Like, even on the chin, like, it has like a nice sheen. I'm actually gonna mix it into this one just so this one is a little bit brighter. Oh. This first one, though, this ugly sweater is like glass on the skin. This one, again, you can see, like, the base pigments there, so it's not as, like, see-through with the ugly sweater shade. And then we mix in a little bit of the igloo one. But this first one is, like, glass magic. Like, I can't stop doing this. I know it's probably annoying as crap to see this video and me like, why are you moving your head so much? Because that's... But, yeah, this palette's really cute. So I'm going to, like, do my hair and I'll give you my thoughts on the palette. And what I think about the hype of this thing as well, because it's so hyped... And so I think it's worth all the hype because, holy crap, people are, like, dying for it without even trying it or, like, seeing reviews of it. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now that our face is done and everything, this is... I put my hair on this side to make it look floofier. And now I'm deciding it's covering up the good highlight, so I don't know if it's worth it or not. But anyways, let's talk about the palette and what I think. I think the palette's absolutely stunning and beautiful. I love everything about it. So the packaging, it feels really, really lightweight. Like a dollar bill lightweight. And it feels pretty cheap. But the highlighters on the inside are magnificent. They're beautiful. Um, I love all three of these. I feel like this is a more subtle one. But it definitely can like add to anything. It's a good mixer if you don't like um, either one of these two shades here. I feel like this is good and a universal for any skin tone. I like this one because it's very clear. Not too much base pigment to it. Like you can really see through it. Whereas a lot of other highlights that I have in my collection have like a good base pigment to it. Which usually I like. But usually when they're like see-through like this, they're very subtle. This is very blinding and beautiful and metallic. I'm being a little bit more into glitter highlights lately, but I still like, I'm a metallic person at heart. And I love the way these look. Yeah, my hair is like not going to stay like this at all. But the highlighter palette itself, is it worth all this hype paying $200, $100 for it? No, 
It's not. I think it'd be so much easier if Jeffree just came out with, like, a normal Skin Frost highlighter again because he hasn't done that in four freaking ever. Right? Forever. If he released, let's say, this shade as a single and made a, the red particles a little bit less red and just called it Sweater as a single Skin Frost, I think people would lose their minds because I feel like a lot of people talk about this shade being the best one on the palette and it is out of all three of these. I would like to see this one as a single the most, obviously. And it's a lot different than any of the other Skin Frost that he has in his collection already. So... Do I think this palette is worth 40 bucks? Yes. Even though the packaging feels real cheap. Do I think it's worth 100 bucks, 200 bucks? The way people are scalping people for this palette. No. It's a highlighter. There are so many other highlighter formulas out there that you can try that will give you the same effect. Is this absolutely stunning? Yes. Is this absolutely stunning? Yes. They're beautiful highlighters, don't get me wrong, but they're not worth the hype everyone is talking about. Now, am I going to pan this palette? Probably. At least the first shade I'm going to hit pan on. I know I am because I absolutely love it and I already have it. But would I go out of my way to like buy $200 worth of this highlighter? No. Do I think it's right that people are ripping people off by charging ridiculous amounts of money for a, a small little highlighter? No. I feel like if you do that, there's something really wrong with you. I know. Everyone's doing their little hustle making a dollar. But at the same time, the people who really, really wanted it, like myself at first launch and really really wanted it and really wanted a lot of other products in there I don't need to be I don't think people should be buying them just to scout people like people do for concert tickets and stuff I hate people who do that honestly there's people who are really hyped about a product hyped about an event and want to go and then they can't afford to because people buy them just who don't care about the product don't care about the event who just want to make a dollar and everyone wants to make a dollar let's let's not be crazy here everyone wants to make a dollar but there's a morally correct way to do it and there's an a fucked up way to do it honestly so is the highlighter palette great yes it smells really good too it's fantastic I love the quality do I think it's right that it's been hyped this much and that Jeffrey got death threats for like asking if they wanted people wanted to come back as like a actual product no absolutely not I do not it's highlighter it's makeup we take makeup so seriously I was devastated about not getting this palette right I can't even tell you like I was so upset like so upset because like I thought Thanksgiving was like a holiday for like you know spend time with your family or whatever Jeffrey's really family I thought it was compound Black Friday I was mistaken I missed it it's okay I was upset because I really wanted the products and of course you don't want to make a dollar off a video but at the end of the day it's makeup it's makeup I feel like all these hypes and everyone like hitting refresh a million times and I'm one of those people who do that like for certain launches. I'll sit there and hit refresh on a page a million times trying to get a product when it launches. But I feel like it's really messy and I don't like the mentality it gives me. I don't like the stress. I don't like the anxiety of hoping like, oh my god, I hope I can get it. I want products to come out and only the people who actually want the products take the time and do that. You know, I feel like it's people who just want to resell it, buy as many as they can, get a couple extra dollars on an app or something. It's really messed up. What kind of mentality do you have to be to like, no one else is going to have this, I want it first. I don't like that. Like when someone says something's limited edition and they bring it back permanently, yeah, it sucks, it's misleading, like yeah, FOMO, you think you're going to miss out on something really cool. I get that, I've been there. But it's makeup. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to say this in the next video. There's going to be something I really, really want. And I'm like, I have to have it and die for it. But right now, I'm just the mentality that it's makeup. You know? It's good makeup. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. Jeffrey, you nailed it. I love your Skin Frost formula. But it's makeup. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Sorry for ranting about this for so long. But I really wanted to test this palette out and see if it was worth all the hype I heard. Anyways, I will see you next time if you're not subscribed already. I love you to that. And I'll see you later. Bye.